So there is David Gavodkian, the German boxer. How about this as a moment for the memory bank for Pavel Fedorov? Competing in a home world championships, representing Serbia, even though he was born in Russia. So a final slug of water for the home boxer. 63 kilogram light welterweight action. Both men competing in their first senior Aiba World Boxing Championships. There is the 20 year old, born in Armenia, but representing Russia. Boxes out of a club in Schwerin in East Germany. Oh, the old East Germany, I should say, Eastern Germany. And here is Pavel Fedorov. Fedorov. He, born in Russia, now lives right here in Belgrade, preparing for his first senior world boxing championships. The 24-year-old, part of a 12-strong Serbian boxing team. So we're underway then. Three three-minute rounds scheduled in the 63.5 kilogram light welterweight division. 44 boxers make up this weight class. And so we have plenty of action in the round of 64. The boxer wearing red is David Gevorkian. 20 years of age, born in Armenia, lives in Schwerin in Germany. The taller figure wearing blue who's just been put on the end of a right jab and then a left cross from a really loose, relaxed guard is Pavel Fedorov. Competed on the global stage in the youth championships way back in 2014. But the 24-year-old now competing for and, and representing Serbia. And listen to the support he's receiving here in the Stark Arena. Attempted left-right combination, saw the right hand go long. And Kavorkian, well, he's going to have to possess terrific reflexes. You can see he possesses tentacle-like arms, but he's guard way down by his belt line. That's where he elects to box from, often when he's beyond punching range. But look at that right hand that came through in rapid-fire fashion, and it landed right on the point of his chin, which is invariably up in the air. So there's plenty of target or an enticing target being presented because of the low-held guard being adopted by Kavorkian. And the correct punching of Fedorov getting ever closer to it. Fedorov really, oh, that's a beautiful left jab, catching the advancing boxer in red as he was coming in, doubling up the impact. And again, it's a really daring style being presented by Kavorkian. And again, it's not a criticism, just an observation. Remember, this the biggest tournament of his life. I was ringside to see him compete in Rosetto earlier this summer in the European Under-22 Championships, where he was a quarter-finalist, losing to Ruslan Ruzmatov in his quarter-final bout. So he's an accomplished operator, and all of those types of tournaments, stepping stones to this, the grandest stage of all, the global stage, here in the 21st edition of the Aiba World Boxing Championships. And again, the chin-up in the air results in a standing count and Gavorkian saying, well, hold on a minute. There's nothing wrong whatsoever. I've got hit. This is boxing. But the referee closely placed, more closely placed than any of us. And he's deeming that just some time to recover from that right hand, which picked off the unguarded chin, was the correct decision. And because of that, well, it doesn't go down automatically. 
as a 10-8 round, but it's certainly a 10-9 round in favor of Fedorov because he was able to find the target with such repeated success. And again, if you're going to box in this type of style, and we've seen so many outstanding boxers do it over the years, you need to possess terrific reflexes and just an innate sense almost as to when the punch is coming in your direction. But look at that. In this replay sequence, we're seeing time and time again after the first shot went long, Fedorov adjusted his range, and despite the protests of Gavorkian, while well, a standing count was forthcoming. And if this is how he boxes, it's certainly how we saw him operate in Rosetto in the European Under-22 Championships earlier this summer. Don't expect him to change his style, but if you're going to box in this manner, well, you have to be very, very good at it. Could understand his protest. He's saying it's boxing. Can't walk in the rain without getting red. As another right hand is a scoring shot. Exchange of lead hands there. The southpaw right jab. An effective one for Gavorkian. Looking to get onto the front foot and close the distance against Fedorov now. Who's electing to box on the back foot. Scores with a long straight right hand to the body. Right hand not too far away, left hand landed with the inside of the glove from Fedorov. And again, before he can counter with his own backhand, Fedorov scoring on Gavorkian with a shot before the counter could be, cut, could be produced from the man in red. Right, left success to the body, but look at that at mid-range, a right hook, half hook, half uppercut score, then a right cross. And Gavorkian has been, Gavorkian's been scored upon an awful lot just with that right hand there. Chin way up in the air like a weather vane. And it's being found repeatedly with increasing regularity from that backhand by Fedorov. So midway through this second round. Of course, one of the greatest Aiba boxers of all time. Julio Cesar La Cruz boxes in this fashion, but he doesn't get hit anywhere near as often as this. And again, this isn't to criticize Gavorkian as he looks to go to work with shots underneath on the inside while Fedorov was in a compromising position and bent over. But on the resumption, left-right success once again from Fedorov. And again, when you box with your head up in the air, when you take a shot, it accentuates it even further because it drives the head backwards, your eyes end up looking at the ring lights, and it's easy for the judges seated all around the ring. Remember, five of them using the 10-point must system. And it just as we're seeing in this portion of success, the head being rocked from side to side. And despite the protests of Gavorki, and remember, this is Aiba star boxing, I don't think he can have any complaints. His head being jolted left and right by bent arm punches on the inside. And that's because there's no head movement. There's no rolling. The chin is just hanging up in the air. He may as well put a bullseye on it because, again, it's jolted backwards by a lead left hand from Fedorov. He's got to make some significant adjustments as another right hand success crashes home right on the jaw of Gavorkian. Brilliant second round for Pavel Fedorov. A very difficult one endured by the boxer from Germany. In the closing stages, it was almost resembling target practice for this man. And my goodness, didn't he find a chin, the target with increasing regularity? Four scores returned of 10-9, one of them of 10-8, demonstrating how dominant the man in blue was over the course of that second three-minute stanza. Some of the action from that second round, a round in which David Gavorkian took his second standing count because look at that the chin up in the air and each time it gets driven backwards it's swiveling side to side and he's looking upwards and I understand what he's saying they're not devastating punches but they're clean punches and the effect of them being accentuated by the fact that his chin is up to begin with so into the third and final round we go then and again one of the wonderful things about this fantastic sport of boxing is that the punches in the book, jab, cross, hook, and uppercut, 
are the same punches that every boxer will have in their repertoire. But it's like the notes in music. It's what you then do with those punches. And this is how Gavorkian is electing to go about his craft. You won't really see it in any coaching manuals. But the man who's competed on the continental stage was a national youth champion in, excuse me, national youth silver medalist in 2018. He's clearly familiarized himself with the rudiments of the game. But this is how it reflects his personality, his approach. But again, right hand success jolts his head back once again, turning him into a bobblehead doll here in ring A at the Stark Arena. But if you're going to box in this manner, well, this is the flip side of it. Because again, in global competition, the boxers are going to possess more experience, more talent, more skill. And remember, Pavel Fedorov came up in the Russian system. As recently as 2019, he was the national championship bronze medalist in Russia at 64 kilograms. Three podium finishes in Russian, Russian national championships over the years. He's the reigning Serbian national champion at 64 kilograms, having taken that title in 2020. So that is an idea of the level of talent that is going to be faced by Gavorkian. And if you're going to elect a box in this type of manner, well, you have to expect your chin to get checked and that right hand finding the target once again. Really is a high risk style. But again, good left, good shots dug into the body by Gavorkian, looking for the same shot once again, but only found the elbow of his opponent. And for the, off, the amount of times that his chin has been hit, just as with those right hands there, before Fedorov was off the mark, well, he must possess a quite sturdy chin because he's still in there pitching, swinging away, believing that he can win, and he's targeting the body of the man in blue well. But again, hand, oh, that's a good right hand from Gavorkian. Perhaps his best shot of the entire contest after he had success prior to that, turning shots underneath to the torso of his opponent. But again, the hook success, first from the right hand, then from the left hand from Gavorkian as he lands a left hand to the body just before the intervention of the ref. His shots are so much more eye-catching because the chin is in the air. Hands down, chin up. That's not a recipe you're going to find in any coaching manual. But Gavorkian tweaking the tenets of the noble art, the sweet science to suit his personality. But I don't think it served him well here in this, his world championship debut. Because Pavel Fedorov, the man who has transferred nationality from Russia to Serbia and lives right here in Belgrade, has embraced the atmosphere here at the Stark Arena in his home city. And he'll be going through to the round of 32. It's a long road through to the podium, but a very solid start indeed by, by Fedorov. Let's get the verdict. And there is confirmation of a unanimous point decision victory for Pavel Fedorov, a 24-year-old who lives right here in Belgrade, a commanding winner on the scorecards. Well, the judge from Puerto Rico appears to have given the final round to Gavorkian. And again, he did produce that successful burst of punches to the body and that onward, that downward arcing right hand. But overall, he was outboxed comprehensively by the orthodox boxer wearing blue. His defenses were porous and his chin was checked repeatedly, resulting in two standing counts from the sharp, accurate punching of Pavel Fedorov. Some of the action from that contest.